everyone. So Jordis and Maya, thanks for talking with me today. Um, so I've watched the first three episodes and I've never seen anything like it. You know, I think I'm watching a murder mystery, then I think I'm watching a supernatural, and then it includes time travel. Um, so what were your first reactions when you first read the script? It is a kind of a puzzle that uh, you have to put pieces for pieces to get that picture together because uh, um, first you see that four uh, um, uh, families that lives in that very small village and you just realize that everybody seems to be some kind of lost or lonesome but there is uh, something uh, what, what? Underneath. Underneath <laughs> the families and the structures. And then when the, when the story started, uh, ch two childs are missing, then it's like that this um, nice houses, it's like a, like a, a house of cards, when you just uh, throw one card out of it and then everything is falling together. It's fair to say there's a love triangle going on with both your characters after Eric. Do you judge your character for, you know, cheating with a married man? No, I, I wouldn't judge her. I mean, I think in, in my case, in Hannah's case, um, it's, I mean, she has lost her husband. And uh, I think for me, she's a very lonely person. And she, she's in a way lost in her world and with herself. And she, she tries to... Um, Find a find a stability in her life, and uh, Ulrich is more kind of a projection for her. It's not just I want. Of course, she has been loving him uh, since since she was uh, young and had a crush on him. But also, she, he's a uh, he. Tr she. It's m much more about herself to to get herself together in a way, and to to have someone who can give her kind of a. Uh, stability in her life so um, and I understand her in a way um, I'm not a <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, I, would, I wouldn't judge her no. <laughs> um, this is Netflix's first German TV show yes. isn't it um, so were you really excited about that and do you think that it will change things for um, German TV well I think we're very excited about that and to be part in such a big production and the first German show on Netflix and which was totally made in Germany behind and in front of the camera so it's very very exciting maybe I, I, I think it has the power to change a lot yes one of the characters ends up getting taken back in time to 1986 if you ended up getting accidentally taken back in time uh, what would you do would you, would you panic, or is there anything in particular you'd go do, like go to a Queen concert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe the Cure <laughs> concert. No, um, I like the, I like to think about something like that, traveling in time. It's a nice... So you wouldn't mind nice. it? <laughs> you wouldn't be as afraid as the character, Michael? <laughs> I would be afraid. <laughs> Even if I see my, my my parents when they were young and myself yes, that, and everything. That's a dream, oh no? It's no. a dream to it's see your parents in, in a, when they were young okay. and how they met and stuff like that. But I think I would like to travel in another... In a, another time zone? Yes. So, which time zone would you prefer? The 20s. Yes. Or just for I knew a that. couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> It would depend on knowing whether you could get back. If you knew you could get back to this yes, time, it would be absolutely. fine uh, instead of being trapped there. Um, so, obviously, the show is very, very dark. It lived up to its title. Were, what was it like on set? Were there any light moments? I mean, you've got a lot of very young cast members that are new to acting. What was it like working with them? Did you give them any advice? No, because they're very tough. Yes. They made a lot of movies, and it was just like you, you're working with... Um, a colleague in our age. Yes. Yes. And that was the, the very special thing in that whole uh, uh, work that we had together. We had 100 uh, um, shooting days and it was 
I don't know how they did it, Bo and Jantje, because it's uh, their project, it was their vision, but all the time, all the uh, departments, uh, creative departments are working together and it was free to bring your creativity to that, uh, to that piece of work and that yes. was fantastic. It doesn't matter what you are doing, if you're just making coffee or something like this. No, it was really like this. Everybody was respected and wanted, and so... And they were very open all the time, so... I mean, 100 shooting days, it was like... It, there is a lot of pressure, but we didn't feel the pressure. They were really open, they, we talked a lot, we made suggestions to them, and we really... Joked a lot. Joked, yes, it was very... <laughs> I felt... We, we, we felt that they were kind of really free in their creative work mm. and that they and Bo and Jante, they always knew what they wanted in every second and that that was great. Mm. So if you could do any type of role next what, what would you choose next because obviously this is quite an in intensely dark TV show so if you could just do any type of role any genre what would you what would you pick next to do? I would really like to do uh, um, a superhero. Oh yes. Yeah. So not a super villain, a superhero. Superwoman, <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh yeah, there's probably going to be a, Fighting, a sequel shooting. to Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.